The town of Gusap, located on the border of Medang and Morobe, is where all of Papua New Guinea's sugar is produced. Gusap has a resident population of about 2,000 sugar workers and about 1,000 seasonal workers. Census estimates put the total population of Gusap and surrounding areas at 15,000. In the last 10 years, growth in the mining and agriculture sectors in Medang and other provinces has fueled an increase in the number of people who have chosen to come here. A major driver of the migration of people has been the new oil palm development in the Ramu Valley. Six years ago, Ramu Agri Industries, the company that produces the sugar, began diversifying its operations to include oil palm and cashew production. The new development has come with new challenges. You got two plus state uh, estate long um, oil palm and Mr. Dumpu and so you got big plan number of old man Mary only move in. So Simon Gaip is a nursing officer based in Gusap. He says oil palm development in the Ramu Valley has caused an influx of people seeking employment opportunities and better services. Los side la house we plan at two plus eve to you. Patients will come in any time. So no got malalo marasin to walk short because we have influx of people coming in here. Along with the seasonal workers, there are others who come here from the highlands and other parts of Papua New Guinea, also seeking employment from Ramu Sugar. Many don't get employed but choose to remain. And it's putting a significant strain on staff at the small health center. Workload them to plant it to mass. Um, at the moment, the family health services and me to plant work mantas all time all get out of Oil palm increase, uh, settlement to in, increase now. Plenty time, plus at same time, lo. Awesome. One man sa walk, one plaba sit down, sit down lo interview, one plaba sana up, lo palpate all day till afternoon. While they don't have the statistics yet to prove it, the community health workers report that there appears to be a marked increase in the number of births in the last two years. And a large number of those births are coming from mothers who come from newly established settlements near Gusa. Time me plus got car or this time me plus I go out and me plus I work in half an hour and kind of something so all right let me plus but now work long plus I'm put down we plus through because me plus no nap lo go out me plus no get leg lo go out and me plus must stop that solo clinic long plus so kind kind every time work no come up lo outside areas too like settlement now all villages long me plus through. Previously, the ratio of workers to patients was about one to fifty per day. That figure has doubled. These days, one health worker is expected to treat between 60 and 100 patients a day. At a village aid post, the health worker who has been underpaid for the last five fortnights tells me it's the same story everywhere. A population increase and inadequate medical supplies. Uh, all the time come inside now, and, uh, and we got more workmen merely only uh, go in and out long uh, this lab, so population number belong all uh, patient when we treat them and we go on top. Simon and other health workers here know all too well that the increased demand for health services are symptoms of more complex social problems that are not being adequately addressed. She's got a raise there. Oh, okay. Sister, sorry. In the health center's observation room, Simon introduces me to a young woman in her early 20s. Julie, which is not a real name, has come to have stitches removed from a stab wound on her back. Uh, that's one of the problems that have been come up. You know, man, look at the local help, I'm first married. He got a second wife, this is the second wife, blame Kira, to block cross by, it was a problem that come up. Because I won't have a problem when now you talk to him, and first, second married, shoot him second married, first married now. So, domestic violence, uh, multiple affairs, and all common inside the rooms regarding influx of people and development that take place. And all like a levy, one blah blah this little levy. Julie is one of the latest reported victims of domestic violence. Health workers know that problems like domestic violence won't stop until serious steps are taken to address the root causes. We don't have a disease because area medical store no got disease, so we play she raise a blade. 
The problems at GUSAP are being compounded by administrative complications within Papua New Guinea's health system. One of the main problems they face is the inadequate supply of medicines and other consumables. Like other health centers throughout the country, GUSAP is at the receiving end of problems at the top. Those problems include the theft of medicines from area medical stores in Port Moresby and the provinces. Senior officers within Medang's health administration who didn't wish to appear on camera highlighted at least three cases in which medicines had been stolen by senior officers in charge of health centers. At the national level, there have been ongoing investigations into Papua New Guinea's medicine procurement arrangements, with the previous health minister, Sasa Zibe, admitting widespread corruption and theft from within the health system. And while all that continues, smaller health centers like GUSAP will continue to suffer.